Now, when we're talking about Bob, our bug out bag, and that it's a system of bag or bags containing food, water, shelter, and other equipment items, allowing us to survive an emergency situation and enabling us to evacuate from one point to another within a specified period of time, we want it to be multi tiered. In other words, we want redundancy within our bag systems. So that way, if we forget a bag, we might have a backup somewhere else. In other words, what I'm talking about is we just need to have a lot of different bags around with a bunch of different survival supplies for perhaps in the car, at home, or at a friend's house, or at a cache location somewhere along the way as we're going from one point to another. There's lots of situations can come up, and that's why it's good to have redundancy built inside your box. And when you talk about a multi-tier system, we're going to start from the bottom and work our way up. Now there's always stuff that you should carry on your person, but we're going one step beyond that, beyond the everyday carry items. Take for instance this one sling bag. Now this bag is pretty nice, it's inconspicuous, and it's not that big. So in other words, adults, teenagers, and even children might be able to carry this bag once we set it up with the items we need to survive. The other thing I like about this bag is that it doesn't stand out. It doesn't scream, I'm a military survivalist and I'm loaded to the hilt with guns, weapons, ammunition, food, water. Come get me. Okay? That's what I like about this bag. It looks normal. And that's what we want to see. So let's take a look at this bag and some of the things we're going to put in here and give you some ideas of what you might want to pack in your bag. So there's our one sling rucksack and we're going to put a lot of stuff in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to pan out we're going to take a look at all the things that we're going to put inside this bug out bag. Now there's a lot of stuff on this table that we're going to put inside that bag, but I just want to go over and show you some of the things that we're going to put in here and perhaps give you some ideas of what you should put in your bomb. Now, the first thing that you need is water because you can't last more than three days without water. These are one-eighth quart water packets that I picked up from Emergency Essentials. Now there's eight packets here, but I'll only use this as a last resort. If I find water along the way, I want to use that first, and I'll leave that water for a real emergency. The next thing is food. Now, I've purchased some emergency mainstay food ration bars. Now, these are really nice, and I've had them before, and they have about 3,600 calories. Again, we want to get away from that myth that an emergency is only going to be 72 hours. The other food item that I have here is some emergency food tabs. Now, I picked these up, and I'll probably do a review later on, but if you Google it, you can find it. Now, 12 of these tabs have the minerals and vitamins and nutrients and protein and all kinds of stuff to keep you alive for one 24-hour period. So, what I've made, again, with these is put 12 of these in a food saver bag, sucks out all the air, so it'll stay longer. And I've got seven days worth of these. The other thing that I want to put in my bag is some heat tabs. Now these heat tabs are used for cooking and I could either cook food, distill water, or even give heat if I'm in a place where I need some. Other thing I picked up was a poncho or a rain gear that's pretty small and it's inconspicuous. It's not blaze orange or red, so in other words I can hide in the city and not stand out. I also purchased a hooded poncho, which is clear. I could use that to keep rain off me or to store water, food, or some other things. I also got an emergency heat blanket because that can come in handy. I've got some Lickies and Chewies. Uh, what that means is basically candy. But what I did is I took the Halls and the Ricola cough drops that are lemmy, lemon and honey scented or grape flavor and I'll use those. Now this will give me a burst of energy when I need it but it also serves a second purpose because if I do get sick or have a cold I can use these to treat, treat those symptoms as well. The other thing I have inside here along with my Lickies and Chewies, are some multivitamin packets. And I've put them in there, and again, those can come in handy and give me the extra nutrients and vitamins that I need in a survival situation. Now down here I have a case, and I'm going to use this case that I picked up at a garage sale to put most of my first aid items in here. I've got some band-aids, some small ones, some big ones, I've got some butterfly closures, I've got alcohol prep pads, uh, quick clean pads, 
I've got another important item that you need to have, some water treatment tabs to make your water drinkable. I also have some dental floss. That's important because you can use this to tie up items, floss your teeth, maybe even do sutures if you need to. Another item I have is some anti-diarrhea medicine along with the directions. That can come in handy because I tell you what, in a time where you're going from one place to another, perhaps drinking water or eating things that really isn't safe, this can really come in handy. I also have an emergency compression bag, one that I had while I was in the service. I've got a few more. It's an individual dressing bag that's sterile. And again, this would be for like really big wounds. Next thing I have is some uh, antibiotic ointment. This stuff is gold. Now, the other thing I take along with me that I learned during my time in the service is to always take a toenail clipper. Now, you can use this to cut string or cut your toenails, clean your fingernails, and I got a little, uh, little regular screwdriver on here that comes in handy. I tell you what, this has saved me more times than I can remember when it comes to either cutting stuff open, trimming my fingernails, taking out splinters. This is just a really nice item to have. And then I also have some EMT shears that come in handy. And again, all this stuff will be packed inside here. Now here are some other items that I'm going to carry with me. I've got a set of a knife, fork, and two spoons because if you run across a situation where you need to eat, it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. I also have a camouflage stick here that is green and long. I've got a light stick that might come in handy. I also have a flint with magnesium, a lighter, and then I also got the uh, fork, spoon, knife combination thing, and that can come in handy as well. Some other items I'm including in this bag is about 40 feet of 550 paracord. Now this is good because you can use it to make shelters, tie stuff up. Uh, I mean the possibilities are endless. I also have an energized weather ready hand crank radio flashlight. Now this is pretty nice and it's not that cheap. You can also get these where they can charge up a cell phone and have a jack for that. Now that's pretty nice and that's what I would suggest. Some other things I have is also some toilet paper that's biodegradable. I have a couple of shirts in here and some clothing. I have some glove inserts for my leather gloves here that will come in handy. And what we'll do is we'll basically, we'll put this in a food saver bag and we'll suck out all the air out of it and make it a little bit smaller and easier to pack. I also have a military Lenzetta compass. I also have my Springfield XD45 with the uh, hollow point rounds in there. I have additional 50 rounds of ammunition that will come in handy. I have a weapons cleaning kit. Bag. I've got some sunscreen, I've got some chapstick, and a bandana. That stuff comes in useful no matter where you're at or what time of year. Spring, summer, winter, or fall, you can find a use for all these items. I also have some tape, a hockey sack. I've got some earplugs because those can come in handy. And then I also have a track phone here that hasn't been activated yet with some additional air time. That's a backup communication system. Now here are some other items I'm going to add. I have a set of binoculars. I've got a pad of paper and pen. I also have a copy of the Constitution of the United States, and that can come in handy. On top of that, I have my Bible, and that will give me spiritual comfort. I also have a magazine of XD45 ammunition. I have a pocket knife. Down here I have a uh, protractor. The other thing that I have is some silver coins that could be used as tender or bartering. The other thing that I would suggest, along with your bug out bag, is probably about one or two hundred dollars worth of uh, fiat money. In other words, ones, fives, tens, twenties, and just make it a mix of that. You also might want to add a credit card that you can purchase at Walmart. You know, the ones where you can put a hundred dollars on the card and carry it with you? That could come in handy too.